Good morning. I'm off to Chelmsford car boot sale. It's not as early. It starts, it, well, it lets people in at 8 for sellers and 9 o'clock for buyers. Um, yeah, the rain's held off. I think it rained overnight, but it should be fine. It's hard standing, so let's go have a look. Is that one? Are they all pounds? That's fifty p. That's a pound. Let's get that one. Then. Thank, Thank you. you. How much are you comics? Um, it depends how many you want. Okay. There's, there's loads of like Marvel, there's some Doctor Who, loads of Superman, Batman stuff. There's loads in there. There's anything that I need. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you got loads of plush. That's cool. I'm a sucker for plush. <laughs> What? Sorry, just have a quick look at these. I'll have a quick look. How much are your shoes? Timberlands. Oh. Okay. Get these for 250. There you go. That's for the shoes. Thank you. Oh, is it broken? I think. Really nice bag, but I don't think it's broken, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, you can think someone was looking at it and they just. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> How much for your chest set? It's a little bit disappointing this morning, it wasn't a huge amount of stuff, um, nothing that I was after, or the prices were just a little bit too high. So I will be going to Woolpit in the morning and I'll see you then.
Two guns. Three pound for five. Do you have to have a little one in there, or, or is it? I don't. I don't know if we do have another one. I thought it might be in here. Okay. Would you do two for five for them? What sorry? Would you do two for the two? Yeah. Two pound. Thank you. Jesus. Uh, I've got like I haven't got a bag. Is that right? But I've got like. Okay, I get this. Cool. Yeah. Is your clothing? Sorry. How much are your clothing? Or does it depend what it is? Yeah, they're all different. Is this t-shirt? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll just get this one. Thank you. Oh, right. It was £30 to start with. Right. I'll take an offer if you want. I think you'd be offended if I offered a pound, so I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Your teapot. <laughs> I was winding my dad up because he missed out on a teapot last week at the car boot sale. Definitely one to look out for. I 
I'm most definitely out of my depth when it comes to transformers and whether they're complete or not. And because I film on my phone, I can't really search. It's a big risk for me to spend five, six pounds on something. I don't know whether it's complete or not. This isn't priced. How much do you want? Three quid. Three pounds seems pretty fair. Um, it's Grimlock Transformers 1989. So um, maybe I should have picked him up. Would you have picked him up? I'm not a collector, so I wouldn't know all the things that he needs unless I had my phone Six and months. I could Google lend him. So but um, if he's there next week, I'll pick him up. If not, then it weren't meant to be. Okay, so I did end up going to Trumpington in Cambridge because Woolpit, which I was going to go to, um, I just think it was raining overnight, it was just going to be too muddy. So I was lucky to get that out there. I know that a lot of people had to stay in today um, and that's something which is annoying when the weather is just not on your side. But I'll go through some of the stuff that I brought. I already put some prices on there. It doesn't mean that it's going to sell for that, it might sell for more, it might sell for less. But it's just a ballpark figure. First thing that I brought was Groot. Unfortunately, I took his tag off because he was a bit smelly. And to be fair, I think I need to put him in a wash again. He's a little bit smoky. So I don't really like going up to car boot sales and just randomly smelling plush. But when I buy them, I get them home, I can definitely tell that they've been in a smoking environment. So he will be going on a boil wash. Um, and I'll try and put the tag back in, but if not, we'll just send him like this. But he was pretty cool and he was only one pound. So as I was walking up, I saw the Star Wars um, Death Trooper mask. I picked it up, um, had a look at it, and I saw the Thanos glove as well. I, I actually don't know why I didn't pick them up. I think it was a case of I was just like a bit like, what's the word, overstimulated. I was just like, there's so much stuff. And I was like, ah. Um, I put it down and then when I rethought about it, it went back and it wasn't there, so um, you snooze, you lose. So the next thing I brought, it wasn't on camera, but I brought this Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine um, like travel case. There are some issues with it. There was a slit in here and there's some markings on here. I've tried to get this off. I don't want to bleach it. But... I don't know whether you can see, it looks like someone's taken like a Stanley knife and just cut it. I've managed to patch it from this side. The inside's great, it's just the outside. But I paid £2 for it, Scooby-Doo, Mystery Machine, he has a missing wheel. I don't know what I can do with that. But overall, it's okay. It wasn't my best buy. I looked at the jean jackets, there's some really cool ones in there, but just a little bit too expensive for me to purchase. Um, the next thing that I brought was some Timberlands. I have polished these bad boys up so they look 100 times better than what they did. £2.50 for these. Um, a little bit of wear on the bottom. They, I think they go for about 25 uh, which will be a good turnaround. 25 30 from £2.50. I'm really happy with that. The Lord of the Rings top trunks. I already have the like yellowy orange one and I saw these two together. And I thought I could sell them as a set. They were 50p each. So I paid a pound for the both of them. I think I paid 50p for the other one. So £1.50 in. And I think they resell as a set for like £12-£13. So that would be good for me. Happy with even the small amount of profit. Um, the next thing which I bought were these. Slightly dirty. Um, Hasbro Afterlife. 2019 I think like little marshmallow 
gums and you pop them in there and then you basically I'm not rush you can shoot and then you shoot <laughs> okay so that's what you do um yeah so they come with I brought two they come with these like cute little marshmallows you can clearly see they need a good scrub they were selling alone on eBay for $9.99 just the gun and $12.99 I didn't know if it was brand new or not $12.99 with the little marshies in there marshmallows so what I might do is I put the one that I have in here so you have three marshmallows and then the other one just the gun by itself so that was that thing that I picked up was Grimlock um, I have I literally sold him last night the one that I picked up wasn't in the best condition I know it was only a pound but I want to try and move stuff before I take other stuff it took him a couple of weeks to sell that Grimlock which I already have so I didn't want to invest in something else which is a little bit lower of quality that I already sold um, it's taken me a while so I passed on that but I did find this Power Rangers guy, um, let me just find out what it says. Oh, it's a Black Raptor bike, 2003 Bandai. Um, it's in pretty good condition. I think it says for about 12, at uh, 10, 12. Um, just a bit of cleaning up. And I also purchased a 2X Adidas t-shirt for one pound in really good condition um so that was it i didn't buy an extensive amount of stuff um i think chamsford was a little bit disappointing but i think it was because it wasn't uh, it, it wasn't nice weather it was raining a little bit and there were obviously some stuff which i miss it's gonna happen i don't know everything and I'm kind of slipping into toys as well, where I would be mainly clothing, um, vintage clothing. So, but I like to pick up anything. So, so a lot of it is blind buying, which I don't mind. I, you know, you get a feel for um, what's good and what's not. But also just watching other YouTubers and seeing what they pick up. It's great research and it gives us the knowledge so we can swap and share. So yeah, that was it. Hopefully, well... This week it is meant to be raining every single day, Monday to Friday, uh, Monday to Sunday. So I think it's going to be a charity shop week um, if I get out there. If not, I don't know. But thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank all the new subscribers, people who just watched um, this long and are supporting the channel. I am back on Instagram now at thrifting underscore bean. So give us a follow, give us a like, share the love. Um, yeah, and I don't know, carry on watching if you want. So hopefully I'll see you Wednesday. If I don't, it might be a Saturday, uh, it might be a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, and if I don't see you then, then be blessed. See ya.